Okay, so you you probably clicked this uh, video hoping to find a uh, a fix for your Minecraft crashing. Well, I had this serious issue of my Minecraft crashing all the freaking time. You know, like I, I downloaded the pirated version just so I could freaking play it because the pirated version apparently runs perfectly. But I found a fix for it, and I I sincerely hope it works for you guys as well as it worked for me because Minecraft no longer crashes for me and now I can use the one I bought you know the full version of the one I bought because now it never crashes and I can use my texture packs and whatever I downloaded so uh, let's get on with the tutorial so I, sh I want to show you how I fix my Minecraft crashing it no longer crashes ever so uh, what I did was the first thing I tried to do was I went to this Java site and I figured uh, I was running 32-bit Java, and uh, I was, you know, I was thinking maybe that's the problem. I'm running 32-bit Java on my 64-bit operating system, so my computer runs on a 64-bit operating system right here. Uh, to tell what operating system you do, you have, you can click, you right-click on computer, and you click properties, and this window prop pops up. So I'm running Windows 7 Home Premium with a 64-bit operating system. So uh, if you go to this site, see the problem with going to this site, uh, there's a major problem, is you'll click the link to download 64-bit version, uh, like right here, 64-bit manual download. But what you get is this site. Uh, you get these two links. So the way this site works is it automatically scans your browser, what web browser you're using and what it is, 32-bit or 64-bit browser, and downloads the appropriate Java for that, not actually giving you a real link, because I want 64-bit, not 32. And I'm using Google Chrome, in case you can't tell, and Google Chrome does not have a 64-bit version. Neither does Firefox, and I think... Uh, uh, I think Internet Explorer has a 64-bit uh, version, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. But uh, Solaris, I would have went down here, but I don't know what Solaris is. I think it's an operating system because it's it's you know it's in its own thing, like uh, Windows, Solaris, Linux. So I assume Solaris is an operating system. So I can't download any of these because obviously I'm not running this operating system. I'm running Windows. So what I had to do was I googled and searched my butt off for a link on some other site and I found this site, windows7themes.net. I'll provide the link to this site in my description or doobly-doo as whoever, some people call it. But uh, I scrolled down and I downloaded this one right here, the Windows 64-bit uh, self-extracting uh, JDK file. Uh, so download that. And install it. It took a little while to install actually. It took like three or four minutes, but it is so worth it. So download this link right here. That's the one I got. Uh or if you know more about computers, you can download the more appropriate one. But I, I downloaded this one and it fixed it. So uh do that. Download that and install it. And if that don't fix it, <laughs> I don't know how, I don't I can't help you so I'm, I'm sorry this this is the best I did it fixed the problem for me oh yeah uh I was lagging a little bit in Minecraft and what I did was I set the fog to uh the second before the farthest view distance so it's not the farthest view distance but it's the one before the farthest view distance and that got rid of the lag for me so uh yeah good luck to you and do not use the java site Go to this site, which I'll provide in the description, and good luck. I hope this fixes it for you. It fixed it for me, because now I'm using 64-bit Java, and now I'm just monologuing. So, good luck, guys, and uh, thank you, Camp Studio.